Right, so last episode, we discovered that we're going to need to make a ferro-uranium anvil, which is a very, very, um, this is like the, one of the late game anvils, if I remember correctly. I don't know, it's probably changed or something since I uh, messed around with this thing, but we're going to make it today. That's right. What do we need to make this thing? Well, we're going to need some machines first and foremost. We don't have those machines at all. So, we're going to have to make them. <laughs> but first, got to get some stuff, uh, make some space for some stuff in my chests. Because uh, i got to place those dashing gates in there. Those are too valuable to carry around with me. And we're going to get to work on this thing. So now, how do we get the Uranium-238? Now, there's many ways of getting Uranium-238. You can just get this from straight up processing fuels, like reprocessing fuels, I believe, with the... Um, centrifuging Xernox fuels, depleted thorium, MOX fuel rods, you know, all that stuff. And with pressurized water reactor stuff, I didn't even remember that thing existed. I always forget about that machine, probably because it's a bit expensive to make, and I don't want to make it. Whereas there's, like, cheaper options, you know. The best way we can do to get it right now is we can make two gas centrifuges to get this. So we're going to take a look at the gas centrifuge and see what that needs. Sorry, I gotta stick drift. Gas centrifuge. See this thing? Oh dear, that's a demonic looking circuit board there. Yeah, it's, 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 oh, whoa. Ain't too bad. That ain't too bad. I can take that one. And we need two of these, right? Yeah. So we need to multiply this recipe by two. We'll start with all the easy stuff. With the centrifuge elements. Four centrifuge elements. Or no. Four steel and four titanium. For each one. And we're going to need eight of them. So let's go ahead and do that. That will be. Sixteen would make one of these. And then another sixteen makes. That will make two. I think. I will double check this. Because I don't want to throw away all of this into plates. Right. So yeah. Those would divide down into two. Because it. It divides out into 8, basically. If you divide this by 4, it's 8. I think. I could be wrong, but I think I'm right. So I'm going to go ahead and just go with it. Uh, <laughs> you know, it, it would suck if I'm wrong. <laughs> like, actually. And then for the wires, uh, for the motors. Motors. We're going to need a bunch of motors, aren't we? I will just batch motors, I think. I think we're not going to worry about the amount of motors. We're going to just batch them and hope it's enough. And uh, these are always going to be a multiple of three. So three times eight. This will give us eight crafts of motors. And eight times two gives us 16 motors. Which is more than double than enough from what we need. But hey, I mean, you can never have too many motors, a wise man once said. So we're going to make motors today, I think. We need to make these centrifuge elements. First thing... So we're going to set that up in there, and then we'll just be able to shove in everything we make, and uh, it will be pretty easy. Now, the gas centrifuge also requires a bunch of other stuff. But thank goodness, it's not a, not a ton of stuff. It's just it's just a lot of stuff. Like, it could be worse on our dash. Could completely bankrupt our dash supply. Eight steel plates, so that is going to be 16 for us, because we're making two. And this is actually not that bad. I was thinking this is going to be pretty terrible. And tungsten wire. Well, we've already made tungsten wire, don't we? I'm going to wait on that, though. Just going to let this guy do his stuff first. But the tungsten ingots are waiting in here for processing. And this actually won't be enough. We're going to need two more tungsten ingots. So that's going to be two more tungsten ore through the processing setup. Which is sad. I don't like to throw tungsten ore away like this. Wasted on uh, projects, but uh, kind of gotta do this to progress. And time for the last set of these. Now, there is another thing that we haven't done that we probably should have done, and we do need to do at some point, and that's get a setup for acid production. But I think we could fit it into here with just one chem plant. Uh, not today, obviously, because we're trying to take care of this first. But we need to get that acid production up, because we're getting into the stuff that is going to need acid production. 
which I've been distracted taking care of other things, like the big structure I'm working on, which we kind of showed off last episode. It's a big structure. It's, it's across the river. But the big structure is going to house our reactor, which is going to be just amazing, I think, at the center of it. That's, that's the one thing I didn't say last episode, is that the pit in the center is going to have the reactor. Or maybe I did say that, and I just forgot about it, but I, I don't know. So half of these are going to be rings. That is the split for this, and once you've made rings, then you just go and make your uh, plates. Which I should have done first, because I don't want to risk turning the, uh, the rings into... Or, well, the coils into more ring coils. And we're going to double the amount of plates to our ring coils, so... 16 plates to 8 coils of both types. Doesn't matter, because they're both equal. Then you shift click and you get 60. Perfect! Let's go! Oh, come on, give me this stuff. I want this gold. I'm gonna put this in the crate. Check out the gold crate. It's getting pretty large. And we need to make our tungsten ingots into. Or, well, tungsten powder into ingots, and then make the tungsten ingots into wires. So, wait. I could probably just do it in. Okay, that, 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 that didn't make a difference. Didn't matter. Smelt it up. Or punch it up. Press it. Wait, where'd the head go? There was a head here. Aw, oh, dang, it must have got blown up. Yeah, I did have an incident that, uh, a creeper just decided to fall in through the roof, come in here, or actually, maybe he just walked in through the open door, the giant gaping hole for the door. But he walked in here, and he blew up, and the only thing that broke was the bed and a steel crate of ore I had over here. And that, that just ended up getting thrown in the box over here. And also this box, and probably this box. Probably all the boxes, honestly. Tungsten wire. Amazing. Beautiful stuff. Gotta wrap this around these, and that is the centrifuge basically done. The only thing left to do is to process the stuff. Wait, what? What is this? This is annoying. I did not put a coker unit in there. I'm pretty sure I took out the coker unit. What? Unless I got this backwards. <laughs> I thought I was going to just instantly be making these, but no. No, apparently not. We got to make those circuits, though. Remember those painful-looking circuits? Well, yeah, we got to make more of them. Or no, we just got to make them. I've never made these before, so these are going to be my first time making them. I got to find a place to store this, though. So, in here. And, uh, uh, oh my gosh, dude. Capacitors are gonna be a... Oh, thank goodness. Thank goodness, bro. Okay, as long as we have rubber, we're good. We are we are good if we have rubber. Does it need 16 of these? Or 8 of them? Do you need 16 or 8? I need 16. Oh my gosh. We are short one. One circuit is all we need. Or one of the thingies is all we need. And then for the rubber, we need four of these. This is, this is actually the, what the, eh. uh, how do you make this guy again? You can just go 16 sulfuric acid, we need two of those. Uh, I'm not too worried, the boards though, we need, we need 16 boards. Uh, do I, I have boards in here. I swear I have boards. I put boards in one of these. I just don't know which one. Pretty sure there's boards in one of these. Unless they're all in the other thing and they've been used making the other circuit. If I hadn't made that circuit last episode, the extra one, I think we probably would be able to make this right now. Just like straight up, just no problem. It doesn't need six capacitors or four. I'm like really not on it today with... Yeah, we'll just go ahead and make a, make a gold plate and then uh, make the gold plate into the thing. So we'll just do that, and for our polymer filter thingy, oh, what is it called? It's insulators. We need insulators for this. We're gonna go like that, and we need wafers again. Gah! I hate making wafers. We have the silicon, though. I know that much. All right, we're gonna make waffles in a second. First, I gotta make sure I got this, and then we'll make the waffles. And we're gonna just, we're gonna make waffles today. As much as I hate doing it, we have to make waffles. The reason I hate doing it is because I always go to make wires next, and then I end up with no 
wire thingy in the waffle slot. I end up with a waffle thingy in the waffle slot, so. I don't want to make waffles, but I want to make wires. But turns out I got gold wire, so I'm not worried. Because I think I can just take this, this, and this. And that will make the microchips we need. Which only makes one microchip for each one. <laughs> so that is actually just the worst. Like, honestly, that is terrible. Now, remember back in the day we made all that sulfuric acid for Saturnite? Well, this is where it's going to come in handy. Because we're going to be doing two things that need sulfuric acid. And I'm pretty sure both of them will be covered by the sulfuric acid that we have in storage. So, that is really good. Like, actually just really good. How do you put this in here? Oh, crap. I'm really concerned about this. Because I don't have any steel barrels right now. Like, I need to make a steel barrel for this. I gotta do that real quick. That's not to say I can't make a steel barrel. It's just to say that I did not know, or I forgot that I had the coltar. Which we used, we made that in another episode to uh, make the steel tanks for the refinery. So, if you want to know how that's made, we can, uh, you can always go back and check that out. But anyway, you need this for your sulfuric acid, because... That's just how it is. That's how the world works, I guess. Sulfuric acid. With a pH. Sulfuric. Instead of sulfuric. Huh. We need to set that one to sulfuric acid. We need to set this one to sulfuric acid. We need to give them an output. And that will make the circuits. It will make two circuits. And look at these demonic, hellish looking circuit boards. Ugh. How much energy is that using? It's using about a kilo HE in it. Is it going to consume our energy? Nope, not really. Like, not at all. Like, actually, no. Oh, that's it. That's everything. That is everything. All I got to do is shove it all in here, and it's it's done. The gas centrifuges. Dude, that was not as bad as I thought it was going to be. I was thinking, bro, this is going to really, really suck. No, this did not suck at all. This was actually... Pretty, pretty reasonable, I think. I mean, it could have been worse, right? I mean, like, they could have taken all episode, couldn't it? <laughs> oh, it, it has basically taken all episode, but, well, it will be fine, okay? You know, I just gotta find my papers now. And I have, is this papers? I only have three papers? What the heck? Dude, we are running out of papers. Gas centrifuge. We don't want to make multiple of them because we only got three papers. And I don't want to go mine sugarcane. But that's the gas centrifuge done. And as you saw earlier, this is going to require a bit of stuff now. For the next thing. Which is making uranium into the stuff. I mean, this is a very important machine to get. And we, in previous series, is I have always skipped this thing. Until I wanted it for something else. Like for plutonium. I usually skip this thing and just go for all uranium and thorium fuels, but in this case, we don't need to do that. Perfect. So what you do is you place one of them facing into the other one. So like this way, this side is on, you know, both sides. And that's going to give you the hexafluoride. We're going to go ahead and set these guys to, they're already set to UF6 by default. Natural UF6, low enriched UF6. And you can do up to six of these if you get the right thing. So, keep that in mind. Now it's time for us to make uranium hexafluoride. Now, that's a process in itself. So we're going to go ahead and do that. So, uranium hexafluoride is just kind of one of those parts of this process that we just need to do. And uh, first step is making yellow cake. Second step is making hexafluoride. Now, with plutonium hexafluoride, it's a little simpler. And you don't need to make yellow cake. But yellow cake's fun anyway. So you need a uranium billet. You know, just the stuff. Sulfuric acid, or no, hydrogen peroxide is on this stage. And then you don't need sulfuric acid. Uh-uh. That's pretty good. I kind of like that. So we're going to need to make some hydrogen peroxide then. That's what it seems like. Now remember, since we got steel barrels, we can technically store all of the, um, the fluids in these steel barrels. I'm going to need several of these, I guess, because we're going to be using several of them. I don't know. 
Like, honestly, steel barrels are the future right now. I'm just seeing it right here. We're going to need a bunch of these. So I was thinking we were going to need sulfuric acid for this process. However, we're still going to need to set up hydrogen peroxide and sulfuric acid at some point. And I don't know when we're going to do that. But I'm going to need to get some more camp. I might just do it on my own, honestly. Like, it's not that, it's not something interesting. It's just, I got to make more camp plants for it. It's just stuff we've already done, basically. Uh, I don't know. It depends. I need one camp plant, one blender. Okay, it's probably something we could probably all do together. That would not be too bad. We're going to set that guy to peroxide now. So, the way this is going to work is that I will be able to store all of this in the form of this barrel. So, once this is full, I'm going to take out this template and good things are going to happen. So, it's going to fill right now. Perfect. Take that out of there. We don't need to make more hydrogen peroxide. That'd be a waste of energy. It's time to make yellow cake, which is sulfur. Something I don't currently have stored. Or Actually, I do have sulfur. Or do I? Where do I put it? Because I know I have a bunch of it. 28. Do I have more of this? I'm pretty sure there's more of this somewhere. It's it's just lurking around here somewhere. I don't know. We're going to go ahead and put in the sulfur. We don't have much uranium right now. So one of the things I made sure to pick up a bunch of while I was mining is to get some of this. And I got 40 pieces, but 40 pieces... It's not going to be enough. So we're going to have to process this through the centrifuge. We're just going to give us gravel, thankfully, because I need more gravel for the concrete at some point. Which is, which is what I've been making. There's a lot of concrete because the building, the building caused a lot of concrete. So we're, we're making a lot of structures with concrete. At this point in the game, I highly recommend getting yourself a Geiger counter. But because I don't care about that, I don't care about safety. We are not getting a Geiger counter. We are just going to do it as is. So we're going to send every billet we have through this machine here. Boom, that's going to just do its job. And we'll just give that some time to do its job, and then eventually we'll have hexafluoride. We'll have yellow cake, actually, first. So there we go, that is making the yellow cake. And once this is out of peroxide or sulfur or whichever comes first, we're going to change it up to the next thing, which is going to be hexafluoride. I am probably going to process all of the uranium because it does take a bit. It's going to take a 60, or actually, no, it's going to take a 64 billets of uranium, I think, to clear this thing out. Actually, maybe half that, I don't know. No clue. I'm not doing the math right now. Hey, come on, give me this. I need to do this quick. This should give us 18. Eh, it's not that bad, actually. Because each one gives you like three billets, doesn't it? So you all may have noticed, I've been carrying around this fluorite for a little bit. And this is, I don't know if this is all the fluorite I have. I think this is all of it that I have, though. So we're going to go ahead and get ourselves set to fortune. And we're just going to fortune this. Because you cannot process that through the centrifuge, can you? I don't think you can. At least I don't, I don't remember ever being able to. So, yeah. We might have more of it. I don't think we do. We're going to need more silver. We need to double the, actually. No, we have to... Yeah, we actually have to double it. I was gonna say, actually, we might be able to not double it, but because we get it back for the, from the processing, but no, we have to double the amount of sulfur we have, so we're gonna have to do a few of these. I don't have the acidizer yet, so I cannot process these uh, unless... I will check and make sure that I could process these, but I don't think you can. Sulfur and fluorite and niter are the three things that you cannot process through the centrifuge. I do not think exactly so and you can acidize the other stuff too now you can you can acidize this that is nice that is a little powerful though that is very powerful considering it gives a lot when you acidize it but th that is more than enough sulfur that's perfect so we're about four more operations on this thing which i'm pretty sure yeah, let's go. We got the radiation achievement. We're going to die soon. Uh-oh. Okay, so the way you deal with radiation is you make a radiation decontamination machine. Which, I mean, this doesn't exist in the real world. You just don't deal with radiation in the real world. And you should hopefully not have to deal with this. 
I wouldn't recommend messing with radioactive items in the real world. Because honestly, that's not really a good idea. What really sucks about being irradiated is that your hunger bar just goes down every time you vomit. It just goes down. So every time Steve vomits, it just it just takes that hunger bar straight down. <laughs> exactly, look at that. Goodbye, hunger bar. <laughs> There's no point in eating while you're irradiated because you'll just die. Um, we need lead powder, which I think we have in this bin here. <laughs> 